Anthony Punchin here from PW Physique and Fitness. Now, if you've not seen the first two of these videos, um, I'll let you know I basically uh, challenge myself in a spare half an hour to answer five of my uh, members' questions uh, on weight loss, nutrition, anything like that, um, and get it done in half an hour. And I challenge them to come up with them. They sent me the questions, and I'm literally answering as I go. This is number three. And this one is, um, what do I eat if I go out and I'm unprepared, I haven't got anything ready and I get stuck outside with um, with nothing to eat? So, here's a quick list for you, let's bash them out. Obvious one, fruit, yeah? Easy, portable, you can go into almost any store, petrol station, uh, mini supermarket, whatever, and you can normally grab fruit. So grab some fruit, apple, banana, you know, anything that you can basically grab and eat on the go. Nuts, okay, steer clear of obviously dry roasted peanuts, for example. Um, but again, unsorted nuts. You can even get little snack packs of um, mixed nuts, yeah, um, which are a great little things, great on the go. Um, do check the calories though, make sure you don't overeat on them, you wanna get your portion size right, okay? Um, jerky is another thing, if you've not seen that, you can get like beef jerky, which is essentially, I'm not really sure what they do, to be honest, I don't know if it's dehydrated or what, but it's a, I'll be honest, it's a little bit like boot leather, yeah, but uh, but it does the job and um, you can get it quite spicy and it's actually not too bad. You can pick it up from a lot of, again, petrol garages, supermarkets, that kind of thing these days um, as well. Uh, and drumsticks is another thing. If you go into a, again, mini supermarket, something like a M&S food, for example, and pick up a pack of drumsticks, uh, take the skin off, yeah, because skin is where a lot of the fat is, so take it off. Um, and chow down a couple of drumsticks, that'd be about 200 calories there, you know, entirely protein, a little bit of fat as well. Um, Greek yogurt is another great one, provided you can get one of those little plastic spoons, yeah? Uh, again, steer clear of things like Muller Lights, other yogurts that have a lot of um, sugar in them, but a standard nice Greek yogurt will do the job. If you're looking for something a little bit more calorific, so something that would count at more closer to a meal, then go with the yogurt and the nuts, you could put those two together, yeah? Get yourself a snack pack, get yourself a nice Greek yogurt, chuck some nuts in there as well, yeah? Mix it in. Great little snack, good. Um, and you could get salad um, or a sandwich that are pre-packaged, okay? If you do that, if you're getting these in a pinch, look for something that's 300 calories, give or take, plus minus, say 50, 60, yeah? Um, and you want something that's about 10 to 15 grams of fat or less, yeah? If you take care of those two things, then everything else will basically take care of itself as a one-off meal. Okay, or of course there's um, a protein bar, uh, depending on where you are. This doesn't include cereal bars like Special K bars or anything like that that are loaded with sugar. What you actually want is a protein bar that's about 200 to 300 calories, possibly 350, a little bit more. Okay, and there is low sugar, so do check on the backwards. Um, fair warning, some of these do taste like, uh, basically taste like eating cardboard, yeah. Some of them are much better, there are some really good ones. Um, I do recommend the uh, Maxim Muscle Pro Max uh, bars because they're about, I can't remember, about 220 calories I think, but they do some really nice ones. Uh, the chocolate orange one's very nice with dark chocolate as well, although they are very chewy, just to warn you in advance. But it gives your mouth a bit of a workout as well, so you know, bonus. Good stuff, give some of those a try. I'll catch you uh, next time.